all-time rushing leader, LaShawn, Shady, McCoy. But transitioning to some football, because it's been a wild, wild day. The Ravens, we know they're in the playoffs. They play the Bengals on Sunday. But the news that has captivated the football world for the last 18 weeks, it's all about that man on your screen, Lamar Action Jackson. 2019, a unanimous MVP, but he has not been at practice in the last 30-plus days dealing with the knee injury. Head coach John Arbaugh was asked if his quarterback yesterday asked of him and said, quote, I don't really have an update right now. It's still up in the air. Remember, Lamar Jackson has a PCL injury in Shady. All things considered, Lamar's earned the franchise tag, period. Mm. All that pay him the money, all that show him the money, all of that good stuff has amounted now in Lamar earning himself a franchise tag. Ravens fans have to be frustrated. I know head coach John Harbaugh is frustrated. I know the entirety of that organization is frustrated because of Sean McCoy, he has missed. 10 games in the last two seasons. Yeah. That's more than Kyler Murray. That's more than Dak Prescott. That's more than Josh Allen, Justin Herbert, Patrick Mahomes. That is more than any top 10 quarterback. Lamar Jackson has missed the most. 10 games in the last two seasons. The best ability in America, it is availability. And Lamar Jackson has, for whatever reason, been unavailable. For that's the first reason he's earned the franchise tag. Second reason he's earned the franchise tag is... The Bravens have been Super Bowl contenders the last three seasons. Three years ago, they lose by 14 points in the playoffs to the Buffalo Bills. Yeah. Lamar Jackson throws a pick six. That was a 14-point swing. They lost by 14 points. Last year, they were on track to be the number one seed in their division, win the division. Lamar Jackson gets hurt. They missed the playoffs. This year, they were going to win the division once again. Lamar Jackson gets hurt, and now they have to play a road playoff game. How can you commit long-term money to a person who you don't know if he's going to be there long-term? The last note I will make is this, 2-5. I get it. Lamar saved Harbaugh's job. But how long are you going to hold that over Harbaugh's head? Like, you saved his job four years ago. But I hate the person who does a favor for you and then consistently reminds you four and five years later, hey, but remember when I loaned you $100 way back when? Don't keep holding that over my head. You did me that favor. <laughs> that debt is now cleared. Lamar Jackson, franchise tag him, but I don't think you can pay him long term. Sure, the $100 to help Trout, it helps Trout. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go in a different direction here. Talk to is, it my, is it my go? No, all you. <clears throat> all you, big dog. So Joe Burrow says something like, you know, his Super, his super Bowl window is why well, he's still... Yes, sir. Always open. So why not? Is that, that's not the same for Lamar Jackson. It's the same. He's a franchise quarterback. Joe got hurt. That was a Super Bowl. Everybody forgot about that. Mm -hmm. Lamar Jackson has been hurt. Can't deny that. That's the proof in it. Yep. But the thing is, when he's there, you have that window of a Super Bowl chances... Right? With, you, you okay? <laughs> I'm allergic what, to what you're saying. What Lamar, what Lamar Jackson, you have a chance to win a Super Bowl? Do you? Yeah. Yes. Based on what? You have a chance. Based on what? Burrow opened the window, didn't he? 2-5. He went to a Super Bowl last year. So when Burrow says a Super Bowl window's open, he, we've seen it open before. Won the division, too. L listen, listen, listen. This is what I'm going to tell you again. All right? all right? I'm listening. Lamar Jackson is a different type of player. So I, I look at Josh Allen's, mm -hmm. Patrick Mahomes, Lamar Jackson's. Them guys are up there. Right? I think the, the young guys coming up, Burrow, Hurts, Herbert, yep. them guys are coming. Lamar's in that class that you can get a Super Bowl. You have a chance. Yeah. All you have to do is win your division, which they show that they can do that, mm -hmm. and get to the playoffs. So when I look at contracts, first of all, with this team, you're not the same team without Lamar Jackson. Not at all. We see what that team looks like without Lamar Jackson. Okay, so when you get Lamar Jackson, you sign him up for four to five-year deal, whatever it may be, you know in that five years, it's a great possibility that you can get a championship. And that's all you can ask for in this NFL league. Joy, where you stand on all of this? What should the Ravens do with Lamar? How should they handle the situation? It has been chaotic. <coughs> I mean, you got to make the best of it and hope Lamar is available. What's the alternative? What's, what's, what's on the other side of that's life the, that's without the question. Lamar? There you go. That's what I'm wondering. It's bleak. <laughs> that's why they keep bringing up that Lamar helped keep John Harb Harbaugh's job. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. how, how does it look without him? It's a new NFL. You can talk all you want about uh, winning with uh, defense. Do that then. Because really the team that we have right now in this playoffs that's going to win with defense is the San Francisco 49ers. And they still got a lot of pieces on the offensive side of the ball that are quite good. They have a, a Christian McCaffrey. They're going to get a Debo back. Brandon Ayuk. George Kittle. They got a few pieces on the offensive side. So Pretty it's nice. very easy to argue it's a quite balanced team. Talk to him. So this is a new NFL. You have to have a quarterback. And particularly in this division. Look, Mike Tomlin got a winning record again. Kenny Pickett's going to get better. And better. Joe Burrow's not going anywhere. We don't know what Deshaun Watson and the Browns are going to be next year. 
You want a life without Lamar Jackson? Do you, honey? I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. But don't you think they already have life without Lamar? Yeah, and like, how's it look? And how's it look? <laughs> and I can tell you what it is. Without him, the offense is dead last. That was like, there was a 12 points a game. But it looks worse because you don't know you have life without Lamar, and then it's like, surprise, I ain't gonna be here. Like, when you imagine somebody's gonna show up and they don't show up, then it's even worse because you can't prepare for their absence, Dave Hellman. I don't think we've ever done a segment where y'all made my point for me. Like, I don't have to say anything <laughs> because you can frame a convincing argument for either side of this. Like, if you're Lamar, I would say Lamar's camp, but he doesn't have an agent. So if you're Lamar, you say, look what y'all are without me. And then the Ravens say, we've been without you for 30% of the last two years. <laughs> There's a convincing argument on both sides of this. And so my take on this is, get comfortable, everybody, because we're heading for this to be a dominant topic of the NFL offseason yet again, and maybe for the next two. I, I will go as far as to say, Lamar Jackson's getting tagged. It's happening. If there was any doubt about it, it's gone now because the Ravens just extended Roquan Smith, another star on their team, traded for him this season from the Bears. He wanted to be paid at the top of the linebacker market. Well, now he is. There's no more contention there. And I would argue, I can't say this for sure. I'm not in Baltimore, but it feels almost like a message, like setting the market in the mid, like when you still have a game to go, when there's still a playoff game to play, getting that deal out of the way that quickly says to me, we got to make sure we take care of this because we need to use the tag on somebody else. And his name is Lamar Jackson. I think that's going to happen sometime after the Super Bowl. And I think we're going to be talking about this until July. And if I had to guess, we could be talking about it throughout next season and the offseason after that as well. So if you're a Ravens fan, if you're an NFL fan, if you're us, just get comfortable because I feel like this is going to be a topic and an argument for the foreseeable future. 2-5, let me come to you. You played with a lot of quarterbacks, a lot of great quarterbacks. Don McNabb, Michael Vick, Nick Foles, amongst others, Josh Allen, Patrick Mahomes, Tom Brady. You basically played say with Josh, every Josh great Josh, you don't say Josh. <laughs> of this generation. How much would it frustrate you as another star player on a team if your quarterback is a dude? but he misses 30% of the games over the last two years. Like, cause you know, you gotta go to battle every single Sunday. But if you're not going to battle with your biggest soldier, at what point are you like, man, I'm, I, I'm not just I wish he was out there, but hey, come on coach, like I need help. Wait, this is Lamar's fifth year, right? Fifth year. So it sounds like you're trying to say he's, he's uh, injury, injury prone. prone. Are you saying that? Yeah. Cause his first three years, did you know they only missed one game? Mm -hmm. So in football, you're gonna miss games. So I, I can't be a player and be mad at him for missing games. He's injured. That happens. He's out there playing, <laughs> running the ball, throwing the ball, doing everything he can do for us to win games. You see all them crazy highlights he does? Did you forget? Not at all. So sometimes you don't get injured doing them highlights. So no, I wouldn't be upset, right? I'll probably be upset that he's not out there, and I'm sure he'll be upset if I wasn't out there, but I can't blame him for being injured. That's part of the game. What if and all the players you talked about, they're going to get hurt. That's the name of the game. But what about the fact that, Shady, you never want to lead the league in a negative category. You led the league a lot in rushing yards. You led the league your second or third year in rushing touchdowns, 17 of them. You led the league in a lot of great categories. I know, I do my research. But you never led the league in fumbles. Because that's not a statistical category that Shady wants to lead the league and in. He, neither does Lamar. He doesn't. And, and, and picks. He don't do that. He, he definitely doesn't. Somebody... Sorry. But <laughs> Lamar Jackson, when you think about all the top quarterbacks, he leaves the league and games missed. So everybody gets hurt. I get that. Everybody fumbles a ball. I get that. But he's missed more games than all of the other top dudes. How can you say that doesn't matter? You know what matters? The only thing that matters is if he's there, we're going to win games. When he's not there, we don't. And when he's not there, we lose games. So the injury part, that's part of football, right? A guy like Jimmy G, he's always hurt. Like, every year, it's 60% it's chance he's going to be hurt. That's not Lamar Jackson. He has some bad breaks again, injured, but that, that, that's the name of the game. I feel like with Lamar, is he's so valuable that I, myself and, and other owners in the NFL, don't let him hit the market. Other mm -hmm. NFL owners would love to have him because his value of him being so good, I want to risk him them injuries and missing a game or two to be on my team. Joy, speak to specifically the Ravens, because we can talk about the 31 other owners, and there are clearly a lot of them, but the Baltimore Ravens exclusively, where do you think they should stand in regards to, we can commit to him for four more years, but if we know the last two years he's been hurt, why do we think something would change, and should we commit $200 million, because more than likely that's probably what it's going to end up being, or $150 million plus, should we commit that kind of money? Where do you stand in regards to that? Well, if they tag him this year, it's going to be an exclusive tag. It's $46 million. Uh -huh. If they tag him the year after that, it'll be $55 million, So it's essentially $100 million anyway. Mm -hmm. 
then he's a free agent and can go wherever he wants. So would you rather have that or have him locked up for the next four years, which I think Lamar will be good for the next four years, probably get a oh, little yeah. bit better deal, have more flexibility on the deal. And while you're at it, Maybe you could add some pieces to the offensive side of the ball to help Lamar out. So he's not trying to do everything all the time. We know Lamar Jackson can throw the ball. Maybe stop worrying so much about paying Lamar Jackson and add a number one receiver. Maybe bolster the running game a little bit. How about that? Who, we don't talk about the Baltimore Ravens and the offensive pieces for a reason. Really not there. Like, Lamar is also who? Who's there? The reason I'm frustrated with that statement is because